Seven African leaders who refuse to be puppets to the West. A puppet ruler is someone who has a title indicating political power, but is actually loyal to or controlled by outside individuals or forces. Lack of autonomy and decision-making has made so many African leaders to be puppets. Also, the quest to rig elections and stay in power, change constitution and international sections, is also a major reason why many African leaders are still being controlled or puppets to the Western powers. After gaining independence more than half a century ago, many African leaders still pay allegiances to their colonial master. These leaders are unable to make decisions for the growth of their nations without seeking the opinions of their colonial masters. This has made life for most African nations to become unbearable and unconducive and against the customs and traditions of most Africans. In the past years, many nations have either risen against these Western powers and their rule, though some African countries still suffer under the control of these powers indirectly, some few African leaders have refused to be puppets. Who are these leaders? Stay with us to find out. Hello there, you are watching Africa Reloaded. Before we begin, a like on this video will be very much appreciated. 7. President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, Uganda This dynamic leader who has been in power since 1986 has been Uganda's longest-serving president. Though he is a key ally to many Western powers, he has been known for his taunt stands against decisions that are contrary to the customs of the African society. Yawari Kaguta Musvini is reputed for standing up many times against the British and America. Most recently, he is one of the few African leaders who have refused to legalize homosexuality, gay marriage, and in general LGBT. Together with his parliament, they have signed a bill against this practice. The bill makes it a crime to not report gay people and provides for life imprisonment for homosexual acts. The promotion of homosexuality, as well as even discussing it without condemning the lifestyle, would be punishable by prison time. 6. President Paul Kagame, Rwanda Paul Kagame is a Rwandan politician and former military officer who has served as the country's fourth and current president since 2000. He previously led the Rwandan Patriotic Front, a rebel armed force that invaded Rwanda in 1990. It may interest you to know that Rwanda was once a French colony. When he took power, however, he banned French from his country and made English the official language. His leadership style has earned him the admiration of many of his African peers, while also making him an enemy of many Western powers. Paul Kagame has ruled Rwanda with an iron fist, making it one of the richest countries in Africa, not just in East Africa. His nation has for several years been named as the cleanest nation in Africa. He has been sanctioned by the West on several occasions and accused of being a dictator because, as we know, he has refused to be their puppet. 5. President Emerson Mangagwa Emerson Dambuzo Mangagwa is a Zimbabwean politician who has been the country's president since November 24, 2017. The former lawyer has done so much to promote economic growth, improve living standards, and the development of his country. This has resulted in many admiring him, while also making him an enemy of many Western powers. America views his raw material policies as a challenge because of his nation's quest for development. Zimbabwe has banned all lithium exports, claiming a loss of 1.7 billion euros from exporting it as a raw mineral rather than processing it in-country. While it is on track to become one of the world's largest lithium exporters, the government believes that rather than allowing foreign companies to dominate battery production, it should establish its own battery industry. Zimbabwe's ban on lithium export is a wake-up call for many other African countries. 4. President Nana Akufo Addo, Ghana Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo, born March 29, 1944, has been the president of Ghana since January 7, 2017. He was re-elected for a second term in 2020, which will end on January 6, 2025. Previously, he was attorney general from 2001 to 2003 and foreign minister from 2003 to 2007. This man has been described as a dynamic and charismatic leader who has propelled Ghana to new heights economically and politically.
Nana Akufo Addo has a reputation as a leader who refuses to accept any nonsense decision from the West that does not benefit his country or the continent. Akufo Addo has chastised Western nations for their lack of financial commitment to addressing climate change related issues on the African continent. $55 million for 54 countries is not fair, Akufo Addo was quoted as saying by France Radio RFI. According to him, this sum is insufficient to compensate African nations for the G20 nation's responsibility for more than 80% of emissions. 3. President Cyril Ramaphosa, South Africa Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa is a South African businessman and politician who is the country's fifth democratically elected president. He is also the president of the African National Congress and a former anti-apartheid activist, trade union leader, and businessman. He has been chastised for his actions and policies by both his people and Western powers on numerous occasions. He is one of the few world leaders who has criticized NATO and America for the Ukraine war. Ramaphosa said he would resist calls to condemn Russia, casting doubt on whether he would be accepted as a mediator by Ukraine or the West. The war could have been avoided if NATO had heeded the warnings from its own leaders and officials over the years that its eastward expansion would lead to greater, not less, instability in the region, Ramaphosa said in response to parliamentary questions. 2. Muhammad Abu Minyur Gaddafi, Libya Colonel Muammar Muhammad Abu Minyur al-Gaddafi was a Libyan politician, revolutionary, and political theorist. From 1969 to 2011, he served as the de facto ruler of Libya, first as the revolutionary chairman of the Libyan Arab Republic from 1969 to 1977, and then as the brotherly leader of the great socialist people's Libyan Arab Jamahiriya from 1977 to 2011. He was a leader who elevated the Libyan economy, raised living standards, and provided quality education and health care to his people. He was despised in the West and was regarded as a dictator and a terrorist due to his ideologies. He has been a foe of the West and America because of his policies, such as his desire to create a single currency for Africa, selling Libyan oil in gold rather than dollars, and his ambition to establish the United States of Africa. All of this culminated in his death in 2011. 1. Thomas Sankara, Burkina Faso Thomas Isidore Sankara was a Burkina Bay military officer, revolutionary, and pan-Africanist who was president of Burkina Faso from 1983 until his death in 1987. Supporters regard him as a charismatic and iconic figure of revolution, and he is often referred to as Africa's Che Guevara. His policy allowed him to rename the country Burkina Faso, which means land of incorruptible people from the French colonial name Upper Volta. Amnesty International condemned him for human rights violations, such as extrajudicial executions and arbitrary detentions of political opponents. Many people regard Sankara as an icon because of his revolutionary programs for African self-sufficiency. In 1987, he was assassinated in a military coup with Western support. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. Tell us in the comments what you think will happen if all African leaders followed in the footsteps of those who have refused to be manipulated by the West. Also, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and remember to like, share, and turn on notifications to get alerts of our new videos.